The new and improved back-drained and ventilated clip and caulk installation system from Laminators provides the traditional look of a shop-fabricated wet seal system without the added hassle and cost of panel fabrication. This video will demonstrate the installation of Laminators ACM panels over the Omega CI Rigid Insulation Panel System. The system uses aluminum subframing members which connect the veneer to the subassembly while creating a 1-inch drainage and ventilation cavity behind the veneer. Layout, panel joint lines, and edge locations. Before sub-framing installation, install base wall flashing. Lap air and water barrier or membrane flashing over vertical leg of base wall flashing in a shingle fashion. Specialized detailing is required above windows in order to maintain NFPA 285 compliance. These requirements vary by installation system and may involve specific modifications to window flashings, subframing layout, and panel joint detailing. The necessary modifications for the clip and caulk system installation over Omega CI will be covered at each location in this video. Refer to Laminator's installation details for more information. To maintain NFPA 285 compliance, install steel and aluminum flashing layers as required by Laminator's installation details. Windows may or may not be installed at the time of system installation. Coordinate flashing interfaces with Laminator's installation details, air and water barrier and window system requirements. Install vertically oriented EJ members along the vertical edges of the installation area. Install vertically oriented SH members along the center lines of vertical panel joints. Install vertically oriented AH members at required spacing between the SH and EJ members. Cut horizontal EJ members to fit between the flanges of the vertical EJ SH and AH members along the horizontal terminations such as wall base, above and below openings, and at transitions such as roof lines. Cut horizontal SH members along horizontal panel joint locations and place between vertical members. To maintain NFPA 285 compliance, horizontal SH members are omitted from the horizontal panel joints over the window opening. Maintain gaps in vertical SH members at vertical panel joints aligned with the window jams. Align ends of adjacent horizontal SH members with the center line of discontinuous vertical members. AH members above windows must be cut short of all horizontal panel joints. Note that above window openings, vertical panel joints must be aligned with the window jams or mullions. Refer to Laminators, Installation Details for additional information. Maintain a 1 8 to 1 inch distance between cut edge of horizontal members in the flanges of the vertical members. Insert mesh vent material into gaps between cut edges of horizontal members and vertical members at the wall base, window heads, and at the top of walls. Clip and Caulk System Installation J moldings are installed along the base of the wall, left vertical edges and window heads. Prepare horizontal J molding for installation along the base of the wall. Provide miters at the interface with vertical J or termination J moldings. Fasten as required. Prepare vertical J molding for installation along the left vertical edge similar to horizontal J molding. Fasten as required. Apply Laminator's approved silicone caulk within the recessed channels of the previously installed moldings. Only apply caulk within moldings to the extent where the panel is to be installed. Insert 1 inch long, 1 8 inch shims. Apply bridging tape along the center line of discontinuous horizontal SH members. Apply continuous foam tape along the center line of vertical and horizontal SH members. Apply foam tape and panel adhesive to the subframing as required. Apply panel adhesive alongside the foam tape at panel joints as required. 
Peel masking back approximately 2 to 3 inches from all panel edges. Note that additional panel preparation steps may be required regarding panel edge sealing and core venting as outlined in Laminator's system guide. Insert panel clips along non-molding panel edges at required spacing. Taking care not to contact panel adhesive, lift the panel and slide the edges into the horizontal and vertical moldings until contact is made with the previously installed shims. The shims maintain an approximate 1 8 inch gap between the base of the recessed channel and the edge of the panel when seated in moldings to allow for thermal expansion. Fasten panel clips as required. Using half inch shims between panels to achieve consistent joint size and alignment, repeat the process installing the next panels moving left to right and then up the wall. Stagger clips on adjacent panels to avoid overlapping of panel clips. If panel finishes are directional, ensure that the arrows on the masking are all pointing in the same direction. Termination J moldings are used to terminate the system at the top of the wall, right vertical edges, and window jams and sills. To maintain NFPA 285 compliance, horizontal panel joints above windows require specialized fabrication. Route the back side of the panel, creating a V groove. The depth of the router bit should be set so that the entire panel core is removed and the back of the aluminum face is slightly scored. Fold the panel to a 90 degree angle to create a 1 inch return leg. Place the NFPA 285 joint clip tight to the back of the return leg. Install two number 6 by 1 quarter inch screws through the existing clip holes into the panel return leg. Install one number 8 by 1 inch screw through the face of the return leg into the joint clip at mid length between the two previously installed screws. Note that rivets may also be used for clip installation in place of screw fasteners. Contact Laminator's technical support for additional information. Continue installation of clips along panel return leg at 12 inches on center spacing. Insert typical joint clips along vertical panel edges as required. Fasten the panel directly to Omega CI through slotted holes in NFPA 285 joint clip as required. Stagger the placement of clips on adjacent panels to avoid overlapping. Install backer rods where required. Laminators recommends the application of painter's tape along panel edges to facilitate proper joint treatment. Painter's tape should be applied after peeling back the edges of panel masking. Apply laminators approved silicone caulk as joint sealant throughout. Color match silicone caulk is installed at all vertical interfaces with openings and dissimilar materials. Gaps at the base of the wall and window heads are left open to facilitate drainage and ventilation. For more information, visit laminatorsinc.com.